Yeah. Hey. I work hard every motherfucking day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, yo, yo. What is up, guys? It's your homie, Nana Master here. Back again with another video. And on today, boys, we are here to talk about the very controversial topic in the community right now. Well, first of all, y'all like the shirt? Y'all like it? The Dragon Ball Z shirt? You know what I'm saying? I don't know why I have cloud goggles on right now. I just, I saw them. I put them on. And I was like, hey. I'm about to start recording. But, boys, on today, on being gameplay, we are, here, we are here to have a discussion, my boys. Because me and my man, John, we were having like a really, like, a really in-depth Dragon Ball conversation last night. It was about 1 a.m. We are on the Xbox and stuff like that. We were just sitting there talking, and like Ramon and Quinn were in the party. They weren't really saying anything because they just, they're not in the realm. They're not in the territory. They, they don't have the knowledge about the series like we do. So, we were sitting there talking about it, and the question came up from my man, John. He said, Shard. Who is the strongest fusion in Dragon Ball currently? And I said, well, currently? Oh, that's an easy one. It's, it, it, it would be Vegito. And he was like, why is that? And I sat there and I explained to John why Vegito would still currently be like the strongest fusion in Dragon Ball. Dragon Ball Z and Dragon Ball Super or all like all of Dragon Ball period when it comes to the Goku and Vegeta fusions he would still be the strongest fusion or the strongest form for Goku and Vegeta to fuse into and here's why because I know a lot of fanboys are probably gonna get triggered all the Gogeta fans will be like oh but Gogeta's a god he he destroyed Janemba and blah 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 and Super Saiyan 4 and Omega Shinron those two entities do not exist in this timeline. Gogeta in the main timeline. This is his first appearance. This is going to be his first appearance in the Dragon Ball Super Broly movie. And boys, you guys have to take into consideration that uh, that this is a Gogeta post tournament of power. So this is Goku after he got mastered Ultra Instinct, after the Kaioken times 20, after Vegeta evolved and got a new form or a new level of Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan as one would say. So you have to take those into consideration before you try to compare Gogeta from the movie when we actually do see it and when it's revealed and stuff like that to Vegito Blue in the Future Trunks arc. The Future Trunks arc, Goku and Vegeta aren't even close. Like the, the power creep, the power leap of the characters from then in the Tournament of Power is like so drastic. It doesn't even make sense. Like you have, you have Goku that can barely sustain like the Kaioken times 20 and stuff like that. And you have Vegeta who's just who trained in the hyperbolic time chamber, he just got a Zenkai boost, and he just happened to be stronger than Goku during the Goku Black arc and stuff like that at the time and stuff like that. So Vegeta, uh, Vegeta had the upper hand when it came to the two, but Goku also had the Kaioken, which made him on par with Vegeta. I know people are going to like, but Goku's stronger than Vegeta, but no, at the time, Vegeta, when they went back into, when they went back to the present, it's, it sounds weird saying back to the present because they are technically in the future and Trunks of Samurai there in the future, but when they went back to the present, Goku trained with Whis and I think the Gravity Chamber and stuff like that, and Vegeta, uh, and Vegeta trained in the Hyperbox Time Chamber. Training in the Gravity Chamber, that's like a day or like a couple hours or something like that, but the Hyperbox Time Chamber, it is, the room was spirit in time, most of you probably know this Hyperbox Time Chamber, right? but when you train in it, like a day equates to a year, and Vegeta had a day to train, which means he, his body evolved and he got stronger. In one day's time to Goku Black, it was only a day. But when he got finessed by Vegeta when he came back, my boys, it was something serious. But I'm gonna get into why Vegeta would still currently be the strongest fusion in Dragon Ball. It's pretty obvious, but people still like like praise Gogeta. I'm not Vegeta biased. I don't like. I do not dislike Gogeta. I'll say that right now. I love them both. I love them both equally, actually. I love both of them. Seeing Gogeta, I freaked out at my job watching that trailer. Or seeing, like, a picture of him. I didn't even get to watch it. Y'all saw my reaction. Y'all saw the video. Like, I did that. And that was that. But we are going to get into it. And and the reason why the Metamorphs, uh Fusion, or the Metamorphs Fusion, Fusion Dance, which don't keep it Fusion Dance for people that don't really know the, the actual turn for it and stuff like that. As to why the Fusion Dance is not as strong, it was stated in the original uh the original manga for dragon ball z by old kai if i can find the panel for it i will show it like let me show it to you guys uh, uh, that the patara fusion was a greater fusion well, was a more perfected fusion 
than the fusion dance, thus making the Patara earrings the godly accessories. When put on two mortals, their powers were multiplied by themselves like exponentially and stuff like that. And then when they fused it to one being, they they just were like uh, their power was like immense. It was just it was crazy. They were on a ridiculous level. Like and Vegito casually stomped Majin Buu, which people tend to forget, and people also say that. Oh well, Gogeta defeated Janemba, and but Vegito didn't beat Majin Buu when Vegito clearly had the upper hand that entire fight. There was, I mean, there was one moment when uh, Buhan was like screaming and he was uh, he was ripping the dimensional fabric and stuff like that, and he he like playing, he like threatened to destroy the universe with the vice shot and stuff like that or whatever when he was screaming. And Vegito casually broke this barrier and slapped up Buu and was like, "My nigga, I need you to stop." But they they always try to say that Vegito couldn't beat Boo and stuff when he like was obliterating him the entire fight. He even got turned into a piece of candy and he, he destroyed Majin Boo oh so casually and people seem to forget this or they don't forget it. They just say that Vegito didn't get a dub and Gogeta had a 45 second clip a bad assery, nothing but bad assery, and it was and, and he just flawless victory <laughs> fucking Janemba like that's what it was straight up Hakai fatality whatever you want to call it Janemba got finessed like 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 he got finessed so hard he got turned back into the little janitor dude or whatever like that and that's another like theory and something like that that people like to go on about like that Gogeta technically didn't defeat Janemba he cleansed him he punished the evil essence in that was inside of Janemba at the time because if you guys don't know the lore of Janemba and stuff like that, or if you haven't seen Fusion or Born, you don't even know who Gogeta is. Uh, he was created because like he was like this janitor kid or like that. He was blasting music and then like the vibrations started cracking the the capsules that had like all of the negative energy that had been gathered up in hell for like so long and stuff like that. And then once the negative energy got out into the or the the negative spiritual essence got out into the the atmosphere and stuff like that. He absorbed it and he got caught in it and he turned into a fat blob and then this fat blob got twin dragon fisted by my man Super Saiyan 3 Goku which is pretty fucking dope and he turned into Super Janemba aka Boo. Uh, the, the Majin Buu ripoff. You guys know if you know you guys know Janemba. He's literally like Majin Buu but a little bit. I guess his, his design is a, a lot cleaner than Boo's. Not gonna lie, Janemba is one of the most like aesthetically pleasing characters in the show he just looks badass and he has a fucking sword my nigga and so you got goku super saiyan 3 getting pressed and you got vegeta who happened to be resurrected at some or having to have his body and he was also getting pressed as a super saiyan 2 they tried to fuse they fused into veku and then they failed he fused fused again gogeta was born and gogeta had about 40 seconds of screen time that's how that went and people try to compare him to Vegito and it's not really you can't really compare it to Vegito has like so much character and like he had way more development into his character and stuff like that Goji was like he was there and then he was gone and Vegito was here 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 turned into a piece of candy then he was here then he got absorbed like it was it was a lot for Vegito and Vegito has like way more to go off of but yeah, basically the Patara fusion is just a more perfected fusion. So, I mean, if if the Patara is strong, if the Patara has always been stronger, why does like why is the argument like here that Gogeta is just this overwhelming beast compared to Vegito? Like, okay, there was this like there's there's this comment on uh, on under under like a YouTube video for like Gogeta and stuff like that, and I was like, okay, I'm gonna I'm look at this, I'm gonna look at the comments, see what people say and stuff like that, and. Most people, the, the logical people that have seen the series, everyone was like, Vegito, Gogeta. Like, like, like you have Vegito being greater than Gogeta and stuff like that. And people were like, why, but Gogeta this, Gogeta that. And I was like, yeah, Gogeta's amazing. He's going to stomp. He's going to absolutely, like, destroy Broly in this movie, apparently. But people are comparing Gogeta to, like, the current Gogeta to the future Trunks arc of Vegito. And you can't really compare the two i mean you can compare like yeah you can't really just compare them. you can't even compare them because their power levels aren't the same if you want it to be fair if you put gogeta in the future trunks arc and compare them to vegeta from the future trunks arc i'm pretty sure it would be about the same or like the same would occur they would use up too much power and they would defuse but since this is a movie the the cliche dragon ball thing isn't going to happen in this movie so gogeta is not going to defuse just like he did in fusion reborn because if you, if you guys remember 
when he fought Janemba, he beat Janemba, and then he just stood there and he looked at him and he smirked, and then that was off. Then Gogeta was off the screen, so presumably we we all assumed, or well, theoretically, like just going off on and stuff like that, that um, you just know that Gogeta just defused after the 30 minute time limit or whatever like that. But Vegito, he, he used up too much power, and the, they defused using the baton and stuff like that. And well, because plot Trunks was supposed to get the final, uh, the finishing blow in that arc, and don't even give me started talking about the amp fucking future trunks but trunks was supposed to get the finishing blow so vegeta was there for the nostalgic feel and the fan service and i would have to say i loved it i love seeing my boy in blue with the blue hair he was straight up finets and zamasu even though he defused i will he defused because of plot like let's let's be real it was future trunks's art it was that art is super depressing and it's like really dark it's like one of the dark that's a really dark time for dragon ball i'm not gonna lie like everything goku black was doing he was just sinister evil it was just pure like just badassery like my boys he was he goku black is the goat like i'm sorry it's zamasu you got zamasu who's just like eh, fodder but you got zamasu in goku's body now we talking my niggas but that, that's how that is and stuff but um yeah, if you were to bring Vegito in the Broly movie, I would have to say that Vegito would be stronger than Gogeta just because of the sheer fact that the Batar is a more potent fusion and a more perfected fusion. I would have to say that like this that that's how that's how that goes. Like Gogeta's strong, and yes, he's even confirmed to be stronger than Broly, who's supposedly confirmed to be stronger than Beerus, according to Goku. So that's how that goes. But uh yeah, I just want to point out, like, the facts as to why Vegito would be stronger than Gogeta. I mean, like, okay, when it comes to fighting and pure, like, skill and stuff like that, they both are obviously on the equal, the same level. They're, they, they have the same tactics, they can do the same things. One just tends to fight with his feet, and the other one is more, like, the other is more, like, I guess, hand-to-hand. -hand. Gogeta's more of the hand-to-hand, -hand, or, like, he, or he has, like, the knee thing from, like, uh, from, obviously, like, Fusion Reward and stuff like that. He does that thing and stuff, but, yeah, and... Yeah, Vegito's just more, like, with his feet. He, like, honestly had his arm crossed the whole time. He's, like, kicking with his feet against, like, Majima and stuff like that. But that's that's how that goes. But when you compare the two, I guess they're, on, they're, they're, like, on the same level to me, honestly. But when you have, like, their power creep and who can, like, do more, I would have to give Vegito the advantage just because of the fact that the Patara, again, is a more potent fusion. You have one that got, well, as of now, it, it's retcon that, uh their like the fusion dance will last 30 minutes and they can use as much power as they want to in those 30 minutes so they have a 30 minute time limit to get the job done which means they can they can like literally just blow themselves up and not have any like regrets like they won't defuse or anything there's no like negative side effects but they have 30 minutes the patara in dragon ball super was an hour but they on it well well it was stated to be an hour but they obviously defuse because they use up too much power but you have to think about it. You have the anime Vegito who only got like five, six minutes of screen time. And you have Gogeta who's potentially going to get like 15, 20 minutes for a fight or something like that. I don't know how long the fight is going to be. But he's going to be on the screen for a while because he has those 30 minutes and it is a movie. So you can't really compare an entity that was non-canon in a movie to someone that was in the anime. Like, you guys get what I'm saying? Like, you got Dragon Ball Z. And you got the canon verse for Dragon Ball Z. And you have... The non canonverse for Dragon Ball Z. And Gogeta is in that non canonverse, and Vegito is in the canonverse. Non canon Goku just happens to be like super amp. Like, movie Goku is like on another fucking level. Like, that dude's insane. But then you got Dragon Ball Super Goku and Dragon Ball Z Goku, who kind of casually get slapped around. If you guys haven't noticed, Goku doesn't really win fights like that. Like, he's strong, but in his verse, he doesn't really win fights like that. In Super. I gotta give some more one. The target of the power, amazing arc. My boy Goku's throwing hands. He's slapping people left and right. That's that's how they were doing it. Universe Seven was getting down. But I will have to come to the conclusion that Vegito still is a stronger fusion. He's a more potent fusion, and I, I love Gogeta to death. His honestly, Gogeta has the edge when it comes to like the, the aesthetics, like the fit on Gogeta. Amazing, like that is one thousand percent. Like, it, it looks better than the jumpsuit Vegito is wearing. You guys, like, you get what I'm saying? I'm not biased. I'm, I'm not. I'm a fan of the series. I'm a fan for both. I have knowledge on both. But we got to look at the facts, y'all. Vegito is the stronger fusion. Like, and people might get mad and get triggered by that. But that's okay because I know you keyboard warriors are going to go ham 
and like just start typing away and be like, oh, Vegito, Gogeta, blah, 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 Broly, blah, 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 and I'm just like, well, Gogeta's strong, Vegito is just stronger. People don't like that, but hey, unless Toriyama does something about it, it is what it is, my nigga, and I hope you all enjoyed this video. Subscribe to the channel for if you guys are new for more like Dragon Ball content, more anime discussions, more anything, honestly. It's been my pleasure, homie Night Master. Comment down below which team you are, Team Gogeta or Team Vegeta. I think more people are going to be more towards like Team Gogeta right now because of like the movie and stuff like that. Super hype. I get that. But your boys, like like your boy, I got I to gotta stay true to myself. I'm not, I'm not a hype beast. I got to stay true to where my heart is. And that's with the boy Vegito because he just, he's a more perfected fusion. And with that being said, I'm going to see you guys later. Peace out. Dude.